Palace Panic under Meghan Haz's vile attack as effusive Lilibet leak over second Oprah interview. The palace is panicking over Meghan and Harry's latest move, a commentator has claimed. Royal commentator Daniela Elza said the palace has recently been acting out of character, indicating that they may be in panic mode over the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Their panic, Miss Elza claimed, was triggered by recent photos that emerged of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on their way to Oprah Winfrey's house last week, causing speculation that they may be gearing up for a second interview with the talk show host. The first clue indicating the palace's concern, Ms. Elza said, was a comment from a royal source claiming that Prince Charles was very emotional when he met Lilibet. A palace source said, it was fantastic to see them. It was wonderful to have them back in Britain. The prince, of course, hasn't seen his grandson Archie for a bit of time and so it was very, very, very special to have some time with him. He hadn't met Lily, his granddaughter, and so to meet her was very emotional, a very, very wonderful thing. What grandparent wouldn't think that was a good day all around? Reacting to the palace's comment, Ms. Elza wrote in the NZ Herald, six verys in four sentences, that has to be some sort of effusive record. The whole thing reads like the sort of frothy briefing an LA publicist would give a supermarket tabloid, not the sort of fare that normally comes from the royal houses. Ask yourself this, when has a royal mouthpiece ever voluntarily gushed before? Ms. Elza pointed out two other instances where the palace appeared to act out of character, the first being a royal source's confirmation that Harry and Meghan have repaid the full $4.2 million of sovereign grant money spent on Frogmore Cottage. A palace aide said, great credit to them. They said they wanted to transition to financial independence and that has now been achieved. The second instance cited by Ms. Elza was Buckingham Palace's decision not to publish the findings of the report into bullying allegations leveled at Meghan Markle. Discussing the possible reasons for the change in tact, the commentator suggested that the palace may be trying to mollify the Duke and Duchess ahead of a possible second interview with Oprah Winfrey. Ms. Elza speculated, the possibility that they might be considering going another round with the billionaire TV host, along with the fact that Harry's memoir is set to be published in coming months, suddenly casts all of this out of character make nice in a very different light. Meghan Markle has been warned against running to be President of the United States in 2024. Rumors have been swirling for the last 12 months about a potential bid for leadership from Duchess of Sussex. Earlier this year, a senior source said that the Democratic Party was buzzing about Meghan's potential political career. And now an expert has warned that she would have to make a lot of sacrifices should she want to take on the most powerful leadership role in the world. Writing for news.com.au, Danielle Elza said, the appeal of being number one on the Pope, Joint Chiefs of Staff and Beyoncé's call list would look pretty good in that context. However, the sacrifices that Meghan and Harry would have to make if she truly harbored a desire to one day hold the nuclear codes would be immense. Most obviously, they would have to wholly give up their Sussex titles. The mother of two could also wave goodbye to whatever privacy she and Harry have carved out for themselves in their adopted hometown of Montecito. Elsa warned that Meghan would have to commit to month upon month of fundraisers, and sucking up to Democratic donors in order to gain the financial clout her campaign would need. She also claimed that Meghan would have to shake tens of thousands of hands, cuddle strangers' babies, and pose for selfies when out on the campaign trail. This, she added, would be exhausting, expensive and put a target on her family's backs in terms, put a